Community Matters and the pandemic has impacted nearly every aspect of our lives and it's affected a group of people who already face daily challenges in our community. I caught up with Open Hands Deaf Services to find out how they're doing. Sign language is called a living language that bridges a world of silence to an outlet of communication. It's how deaf people talk while watching facial expressions and reading lips. So you can imagine how aspects of the pandemic have impacted something most of us take for granted, the simple ability to hear and speak. Uh, just a lot of confusion and communication breakdowns. Um, you know, people don't know what to do. Melissa and Cody Campbell are married, both deaf and raising two young boys in Benton, Louisiana. They say it's already tough trying to communicate with people, but now the wearing of face masks have added more roadblocks for them. It's really hard for me to understand. Uh, sometimes I have to ask them to pull the mask down, and you know, some people they just don't feel comfortable doing that. You know, it's like. Uh, yeah, you know, it's like trying to understand talking like this. I don't know what they're saying. The couple is communicating through Steve Evans, an interpreter of American Sign Language. He's also the founder of Open Hands Deaf Services, an organization that helps deaf people in our community. The nonprofit operates in a Benton church, which is where I first met a group of local deaf people for a story in 2019. Since the health crisis, they've had to cancel their weekly gatherings, which has been a hardship. You know, it really has hurt the deaf community a lot because the deaf, um, you know, their culture, or our culture, uh, has a tendency to really be together. Evans says social gatherings with other deaf people are extremely important to them since they can only really communicate with other deaf people or hearing people who know sign language, which is why they say more sign language translators are needed, especially on the national level. They really need to have an interpreter for the White House. Uh, on TV. That was really one big problem for the deaf community is there was no there was no um, uh, no interpreter uh, for the White House. The Campbells say at the beginning of the pandemic, they were not receiving the information they needed. A lot of the deaf had had some trouble getting all of the information and the right information in about the pandemic and people became paranoid and there was just there was just a lot of confusion of the information of what was right and what was wrong. You know, but there were things that we needed to understand. The couple says the deaf are often left out or even disregarded. So they want to educate the community about deaf culture, which values friendship and a good conversation, maybe inspiring some to learn the language. I think that it's a good idea, every elementary school and high school, middle school and high school, to have one class where they teach ASL. I think that that would be wonderful. I think that, that people need to learn deaf culture also. And they are an amazing organization. Open Hands Deaf Services is planning to offer free classes to learn sign language and deaf culture. You can text DEAF to 55444 if you would like to join.